Hello, my Cancer and Cancer Rising friends. Sandra from ForYourShe.com. Thanks so much for being here with me. This is your November of 2022 reading. I greatly appreciate all of you still doing my competition. However, I need to get to 1,300 subscribers. Please help me get there any way possible. Mostly so I can stop talking about it. But let's get to your reading. So here we are your first house well it appears in the first days of November and I'm gonna to try to post this as soon as possible the time always gets crunched in October because of birthday and Halloween and all of the costumes for the kids you know the story so it appears that the you know what is hitting the fan the first week of November it's going to be important to lay low as much as possible. Don't, you know, try not to do anything extra. Try not to get in an argument with someone because it can go south very quickly. Be very careful, Cancers. Do not climb high ladders and do dangerous things right now. Do not drink and drive ever. Do not text and drive. Do not multitask too much, and the list goes on and on. Sometimes this can't be prevented cancer, but to the extent that it can be prevented, I always like to tell people to try to be as careful as possible, just in case that it can be prevented. Now, you did pull unlikely here in your first house, so it is unlikely that this situation will piece itself back together will go back to normal usually when a tower card happens it happens for a reason the rug has been ripped out from underneath you because it was not built on a solid foundation to begin with so the universe the higher power god whatever you'd like to call it is trying to show you the faulty the fault lines within this usually it's relationship relationship or situationship or job or career or um way of doing way of being right now it's going to have to be rebuilt from the ground up and if this is relationship it's probably not with the same person Okay, we're going to we're going to get deep into the relationship in the 7th house and the extended. Now, if you've ever wanted to try the extended, I would highly encourage you to do so this month because we're not pulling from the regular romance angel deck, we're pulling from journey of love. And this deck is just, I mean, every time I read it, I'm getting goosebumps. So I'm pulling a card or two, whatever wants to come out for your seventh house in the extended. And it's pretty incredible. Okay, but let's get to your second house. Well, I love this. Harmony, harmony, warm and fuzzy, fuzzy feelings are happening between you and your money. Money's getting better. You could also have some sort of help or assistance with money this month which is fabulous. This could come from a person, a new person, um, someone who perhaps has owed you money in the past, maybe repaying it. This is fabulous. And they're telling you to remain positive. Another fabulous message here. And so when we get the remain positive message cancers, what it means is that you are manifesting more money and more abundance right now. The ground, the soil, the universe soil is extremely fertile for you to plant seeds there and remaining positive will water and feed and sunshine those plants so that they can come to fruition and manifestation. Are you going to get everything that you want this month with money? No. Is it getting better? Yes. Is it little by little? Yes. Is it step by step? Yes. And remaining positive will help take you to the next level and keep being positive in the next level and the next level as much as you possibly can. Your third house, the waiting game. 
Remember third house rules brother or sister. So brother or sister is the universe is asking them to be patient at this time. However, after this period of patience is over, success is assured. And look at this. I love this. We have a timing card here within the next few months. What your brother or sister wants to happen is not happening this month, but it's happening in the next few months. So look for it between, um, I would say, December and March, December of this year, 2022, and March of next year. Um, some of them even April, but listen, they're going to make it to the finish line. So maybe you can cancer, tell them not to worry. Okay. Try to let it go as much as possible. They will make it there, but everything is in divine timing right now. Your fourth house, house of home, where you currently live. This is you quiet time alone. You are needing quiet time alone to meditate and or study. Okay, if this is not you, this could also be talking about your father. Your father could be spending time, quiet time alone or he could find himself single where he was formerly with a partner. You are being asked or your father is being asked to let go at this time. Okay, let go of what is no longer working. Let go of the people that are no longer working in your life, that are no longer serving you, that are no longer serving the highest good. This could totally be related to your first house of disruption, okay? That's for some of you, not for all of you. What's the next thing? Fifth house. Socialization, fun, friendships. For those of you single cancers, this is your dating life. Positive movement forward. Okay, this is great. Um, cancers, they, the universe is telling you to put yourself out there um, in the world of fun and specifically doing creative things. Now, this could be one of those, you know, where you go out and paint pottery um, or paint, you know, paint a picture with your friends. One of those deals. You could also be going out and enjoying artwork. This could be a stroll through a museum or chalk art or something. Um, you could also be meeting people who are creative or meeting people who are artists or bakers or musicians authors, some kind of creators. That's a creative card in the fifth house. There's also the need for you to forgive someone. Now this could be, remember, because the fifth house rules your dating life. So there could be some forgiveness that needs to be issued by you, Cancer, with someone that you have previously dated, an ex. Okay, your sixth house work of, or excuse me, house of work and health, you have throat chakra. This means speak up for yourself at your job, not in a nasty way, in a loving way, Cancer. But the bottom line is that you are not biting your tongue. People need to hear and understand what your thoughts are and your emotions right now. This situation will improve cancer, especially after the cancer speaks up for themselves. Okay. This could also be a cancer who has um, creative problem solving ideas at work. And you are a little bit maybe shy or perhaps not enough, not confident enough to speak out, but you are being guided to speak your truth at this time. The other thing with the throat chakra in the sixth house is that it's going to be important for you to speak out in general in your life right now because the throat chakra could be blocked if you are not speaking your truth and therefore you know once it gets to a certain point it could manifest as some sort of illness or disease which we do not want cancel clear delete that 
in the area of your throat. Return to sender, return to sender, return to sender, right? So in order to avoid that problem situation, make sure that you are speaking your truth with everyone in your life, not just with work, but especially it, it's going to be especially true with work. Okay. All right. So let's go through your tarot cards of who showed up in your seventh house of relationship here. We have the chariot. That's another cancer. Um, that could also be a Gemini that could be a cancer on the cusp of Gemini or vice versa, cancer, Gemini cusp. We have the magician. So unfortunately I cannot rule out any sign because the magician contains all four elements, which is all 12 signs of the Zodiac. We also pulled the four of cups, another cancer Scorpio Pisces. So we've got heavy cancer energy here in your reading that showed up in your seventh house of relationships. If you'd like to follow me in the extended, we're going to be going over your seventh house of relationships along with the journey of love deck card that I mentioned earlier. We're going to be going over your eighth house of taxes, intimacy, contracts, legal matters, the source of your significant others income. If that applies to you, your ninth house of your travel in your school, your 10th house of your career and your mother, your 11th house, which rules your children and your 12th house, which is what's about to happen in the future. Look for it three months from now in February. Thanks so much for being here with me, cancers. Take care.